Hey guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So it is the day that you all have been waiting for, or at least I have been waiting for, for so long now. We are going to be talking all about the second launch of my makeup line, which is called Ronnie Cosmetics. In case you guys don't know the whole backstory of the line and our first launch that we did, which was six lipsticks, I will put those two videos down below. There's a video of me announcing I have a makeup line and I kind of go into the whole backstory of why it's called Ronnie Cosmetics, what I hope to achieve through this makeup Makeup line and all of that good stuff and then of course there is an announcement video on our lipsticks where I did lip swatches and talked about the line this is sort of going to be a continuation of the lipstick video because the launch we are going to be talking about today are the Rani sparked dazzling liquid lipsticks ever since we did our first launch of the lipsticks back in April I have been asked continuously if I'm going to be launching liquid lipsticks and just a little fun background fact that nobody really knows is that I developed these lipsticks and liquid lipsticks at the same time meaning that when we were formulating the lipsticks we were also formulating the liquid lipsticks and the whole idea the whole premise of the sparked dazzling lip collection was so that you can use the liquid lipsticks and the lipsticks together now unfortunately and this happens quite often in the behind the scenes makeup production world the liquid lipsticks took a lot longer to make and to perfect and you guys know how picky I am in general with makeup and especially if I was going to put my name on something I was going to be extra extra critical so these liquid lipsticks took longer to make than the lipsticks the formula was just more finicky in production but the end result that we have I am so so happy with so let me just start by talking about the basics first and foremost here is what the packaging looks like I worked my little hiney off to get this packaging to be so unique and beautiful and I think we did a really good job if you guys are familiar with our lipstick packaging you'll see that these two perfectly coordinate together they both say Ronnie cosmetics in the pink foil they both have the rose gold henna print down here they both have a little peacock feather on the top and they're both just so beautiful and so sleek looking the applicator for the liquid lipsticks is fabulous it's like an oval sort of like one of those flocked felt tip applicators but it does hold product on both flat sides this applicator is absolutely perfect it's not too stiff and it's not too floppy so you can get a nice crisp edge just using this applicator now of course all of the liquid lipsticks also come in a beautiful beautiful little box here if you guys are familiar with the boxes we launched for the lipsticks the liquid lipsticks are basically the exact same thing they have the most stunning holographic henna print and then of course it says Ronnie cosmetics in the hot pink foil and then the liquid lipstick box says sparked dazzling liquid lipstick the top of the box has the little hot pink peacock feather and then the henna print goes on all three sides the back panel does have the ingredients the directions it says vegan cruelty free no animal testing ever all of my products are made in the USA and in each of these little tubes here you get 0.23 fluid ounces of product which is a very significant amount of product for a liquid lipstick okay so now that I talked about some of the basic information on these liquid lipsticks let's go ahead and jump into the whole story behind why I developed them like I told you guys earlier the liquid lipsticks and the lipsticks in this line were developed together they were specifically developed to be used together as well now obviously you can use one or the other or both together like they were intended all six of the colors that I developed in the lipstick line has a coordinating shade in the liquid lipsticks as you would expect the name sparked dazzling liquid lipstick these do have a little bit of shimmer to them now I did get quite a bit of heat in my lipstick announcement video from people disappointed 
disappointed that these had shimmer. I completely and totally understand if shimmery lip products isn't your thing. I did state in that video that these are not frosty. These are not metallic. These are very unique products. And after launching the lipsticks and hearing the feedback that I've gotten, I would say like 99% of people that have purchased those lipsticks have been very, very happy. You just have to know going into it that it's a very unique effect. When I started Rani Cosmetics and I knew this was going to be our first launch, I really wanted to launch something different. I said this in my lipstick video and I'm saying it again just because I guess people didn't really get it the first time, but that doesn't mean that later on we're not going to be releasing some basic products, some really go-to products, some products that, you know, other companies potentially have something similar, but I will of course do my own twist on but the sparked dazzling lip line both the liquid lipsticks and the lipsticks this was my passion project i didn't really take anybody else's opinions of the product at all i just did what i wanted to do this is something that from years of being in the makeup world i've never seen anything like this i've never seen it but i love the effect so i wanted to do it myself i am working on some matte nude liquid lipsticks because you guys really really wanted to see those i do take all of your feedback into consideration and with future rani products we are 100 percent going to be taking your guys's feedback but for this project in particular this was just ishani this was just ishani's heart and soul being poured into lipstick okay so a little bit more about the liquid lipstick formula this particular formula was created to either be used as a standalone liquid lipstick or to be combined with the coordinating shade of lipstick to create a unique effect now the liquid lipsticks are fully opaque in one swipe they are super long wearing they are matte i would consider them lip creams because they're not very thin thin but they do dry down fairly smudge proof they're not completely smudge proof they're not completely transfer proof i did that on purpose because all of these have a little bit of that sparkle element to them what i noticed was if you created a very very drying matte liquid lipstick and then added the shimmer into it it dries it out even more and it makes it super uncomfortable on the lips and worse than everything it starts to flake so to prevent the flaking and the uncomfortable feel, I made these be a little bit less smudge proof, a little bit less transfer proof, but honestly, these still last a really good amount of time. One other thing I did want to note is that because of the pigments and the shimmers that are in this liquid lipstick, you might need to kind of stir the product up in the tube if you let it sit for extended periods of time. I know we've all seen those liquid lipsticks that tend to kind of separate, like the oily bits will go on the top and the pigments tends to settle on the bottom and while you might not be able to see that happening to these liquid lipsticks directly through the tube sometimes those glitter particles will tend to sink towards the bottom because they're heavier than the base that they're in i personally don't find that that big of a deal it's just when you pull the wand out just give it like a quick stir and then pull it out and apply or just give it a quick like pump just a few times just to kind of keep the product moving and then apply just like the lipsticks each of the liquid lipsticks does have its own unique scent the liquid lipsticks and lipstick counterparts have the same scent so if you decide to layer them you're not going to be mixing scents on your mouth or anything if you are really sensitive to scents just know that it's not going to stay on your lips after it dries down okay with all of that being said let's go ahead and jump right into lip swatches of all six of the sparked dazzling liquid lipsticks i'll show you guys the liquid lipstick 
lipstick right next to the lipstick counterpart and then I'll also show you guys the two layered together so you guys can see the effects you can get. So first off we have the shade Henna which goes with the color Tattoo in the lipstick form. Henna Tattoo. Cute, yeah? So Henna is our nude color that we have in the line. This one I would describe as a perfect pinky nude with a little bit of peach in it depending on your skin tone that peach could be a little bit more prominent this color also has the least amount of shimmer in it so if you're not a big shimmery lip person this is definitely the one i would tell you to check out because it's super super subtle the gold and pink reflect that's in here isn't as prominent as with some of the other shades and then the scent that this one has which matches the tattoo lipstick is an amazing creme brulee or like a caramel cream scent. It is delicious. And then because I did want to show you guys these layered together as well, here is a layer of henna underneath a layer of tattoo so you guys can see on my lips the effect you can get if you put them both together you get the fully opaque color of henna mixed with the beautiful beautiful gold and pink sparkle in tattoo and layered together it is the most glorious nude color i love it next up we have the shade chai which goes hand in hand with the lipstick in latte chai latte i'm cute aren't I? Chai would be best described as a warm chocolate brown base with blue and violet reflect shimmer in it. Because of the color of the shimmer of this one, it really does cool down the base to make it more of a neutral toned brown so it's not super super warm. This is a brown shade that I've gotten a lot of compliments on, not just me personally wearing it, but from you guys. When you guys tried Latte lipstick so many people have told me it is their go-to lipstick color because it's such a unique wearable neutral shade and as you would expect the scent of chai is of chai. It's a true kind of like cinnamony chai latte scent. I absolutely love it. And don't get me wrong, I love chai by itself, but something truly magical happens when you layer latte over it. Because latte is a little bit of a sheer base, but that violet shimmer really, really pops. And on the lips, when you put them layered together, it is the most incredible effect. It is just like this glowing violet blue sparkle on this really really opaque chocolate brown base so unique so beautiful next up we have the shade rose which goes hand in hand with the shade syrup rose syrup i'm pretty sure almost every indian household has a bottle of rose syrup in their pantry i know mine does at least rose i would describe as the perfect hot orchid pink for a tan complexion. This is a color that works on all skin tones very easily, but I know a lot of my tan skinned friends, like my personal friends, have a hard time finding a pink lipstick that flatters them. And this is a very, very flattering pink because it's not too light or too bright or neon. It's just perfect. This shade also has the pink and gold shimmer in it, which I think is absolutely stunning. And as you would expect, this shade smells like roses. And then here is a look at rose layered with syrup so you guys can see the effect you get on your lips. It is a really, really pretty sparkly pink orchid type shade super flattering amazing for wedding season i think this has to be one of my favorite combos by far next up we have mango which goes hand in hand with lussy in the lipsticks mango lussy perfect for the hot summer months it is a gorgeous glowing orangey red that's a super super wearable orange for almost all skin tones the shade Shimmer in this one is that beautiful golden pink shimmer and I think both the gold and pink 
really stand out in this particular shade. It is just glorious. Of course, as you would expect with a name like Mango, we have a delicious mango scent to this. And here we have a look at Mango layered underneath its coordinating lipstick in Lussy. So you can see the two together. The lipstick really does add a good amount of that golden sparkle. So you're definitely going to get the opacity of the reddish orange color with the intense sparkle of the lipstick. I mean, when these are layered there's just nothing better in my opinion this is going to be one of the crowd favorites we have the liquid lipstick in hindi which goes alongside the lipstick in bindi hindi bindi i think that's such a cute name but hindi is a true ruby red with the pink and gold sparkle in it now this red is so gorgeous and so universally flattering because of that pink and gold sparkle it does lean a little bit towards a pinky red which in my opinion does make it very wearable and this is going to be my go-to holiday shade not to say that I don't wear it anytime I want a statement lip but for the holidays you guys definitely need this in your life. And just like the Bindi lipstick, this liquid lipstick has a strawberries and cream scent, which is absolutely delicious. And then here we have a combination of Hindi and Bindi on my lips layered together. Bindi definitely brings out more of that pink sparkle in Hindi. And honestly, I mean, if you guys already own the lipsticks, I totally recommend at least picking up your favorite color in the liquid and layer them because when I say that the effect is glorious, that's literally the best way I can describe it. This is the best holiday pairing right here. I'm gonna be wearing this all month long in December. And then last, but most certainly not least, we have Lunar, which goes hand in hand with the lipstick Eclipse. And this is the most royal looking velvety purple shade with the most gorgeous pink sparkle in it. I absolutely love this color in the lipstick as Eclipse, but in a liquid version, because it does dry down matte, it looks like purple velvet. It's so royal looking. It's the color I imagine like a queen wearing or something. It is stunning. And just like the Eclipse lipstick, Lunar does smell like coconuts. And then here is a look at Lunar underneath Eclipse. And you guys can see that this is literally the best of everything. You get the fully opaque smoky purple color of Lunar and then Eclipse just really adds that pink sparkle, the pink and gold sparkle back to the lip and you just get the most stunning smoky purple lipstick. So I hope you guys enjoyed those lip swatches and they were helpful to you. One question I know I'm probably going to be asked is if I already have the lipsticks, why do I need the matching liquid lipstick? Like what is this going to do for me? Why do I need two different formulas of the same color? So let me just tell you guys where I was going with this. First off, these two products give very different effects. The lipsticks are a sheer to buildable coverage lip product. They are infused with mango butter and coconut oil, which makes them really moisturizing on the lips. And because of the slight sheerness of them, when you build them up, the sparkle and the shimmer really, really shine. These also are not matte. They are comfortable, but they will transfer and they will smudge. They're a traditional lipstick. Whereas with the matte long wearing liquid lipsticks, these have a very, very opaque base color to them, which means that they don't need to be built up at all. And because of the opaque base color, the shimmer doesn't tend to show up as much 
as with the lipsticks. That's not to say that you won't see the shimmer in these, you still will, but it's not going to be as prominent as if you just use the lipstick. So the whole idea was that you apply the liquid lipstick in the morning just to kick off your day. You have fully opaque color. It's going to last a really good amount of time. It's not gonna flake, it's not gonna fade. And then throughout the day as you eat or drink and it does start to kind of fade on the inner portion, you can go in with the coordinating lipstick to touch it up. The lipstick is gonna kind of reinvigorate the liquid lipstick that's pretty much a dried product. And it's gonna help kind of smooth it out, evenly distribute the color again, and redeposit some pigment and some more shimmer to your liquid lipstick. Now, of course, if you apply the liquid lipstick and you're like, you know what, I want even more sparkle on my mouth, you can totally go in with the coordinating lipstick right away. The two formulas give very different effects on the lips, even even though the colors I got as close as I possibly could to one another to make them duos that you can use together, they're not exactly the same. They're close enough that you can very easily layer them, but you know, if you swatch them right next to each other, you'll be able to tell a little bit of a difference. And then obviously the wear on these is completely different where you can get, I would say a good four to six hours of wear out of the lipsticks. But of course, if you eat or drink, these are going to fade pretty quickly. With the liquid lipsticks, I've gotten easily six to eight hours, even more sometimes depending on the shade. The way I personally recommend using the liquid lipsticks is to apply a thin layer across your lips let it completely dry before you eat or drink anything and then try to avoid oily foods. Oil is what breaks down any liquid lipstick. It's the only thing that breaks down some of those super, super long wearing liquid lipsticks. So if you want the maximum amount of wear, just avoid oily foods. And then in terms of fading or flaking, these don't flake. I made it a real point to make sure they don't flake because with any product, that has little shimmer bits in it, it can flake really easily. And then in terms of fading, these fade really gracefully, at least on my lips. I haven't had any issues of them doing like that inner ring of crustiness, which makes it hard to touch up. You can totally touch up the liquid lipstick just using the liquid lipstick again if you didn't want to purchase the coordinating lipstick. But obviously the thicker and thicker of a liquid lipstick layer you put on your lips, the more prone it's going to be to kind of caking and cracking. But again, that's with any liquid lipstick. You don't really want to be applying like four or five layers of any liquid lipstick to your mouth because it's not going to look very cute. All right. And I think the final thing I wanted to discuss are the prices and when you can purchase these. So each of these liquid lipsticks are going to retail for $20 a piece. That is just $2 more than the lipsticks. Now I also will have some bundle deals available as well. So if you purchase the liquid lipsticks in individually, they're $20. If you purchase the lipsticks individually, they're 18. If you decide to purchase the coordinating shade of liquid lipstick and lipstick, you can get both of them for $35. If you wanted to purchase the full lipstick bundle, which is already available, it is $99. And then the full liquid lipstick bundle with all six of the colors is going to be $110. So of course, if you buy the bundle, you're going to save some money. If you buy them in duos, you'll save a little bit of money off of buying these individually. And then of course, when are these going to be available? The liquid lipsticks are all going to launch this Saturday, July 22nd at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will go ahead and write that in the description box down below for you guys. So I would say mark your calendars, be there on time. And as of right now, all of the Ronnie Cosmetics products are exclusively available on our website, which is RonnieCosmetics.com. I will write it right here and it will also be the first link in the description box down below. I don't intend for any of these to sell out, but it's always a possibility. So if you guys have your eyes on any of these colors in particular, I highly recommend getting there on Saturday at 10 a.m. if you can. And I did want to pop this in at the end of this video because I know you guys have been very patiently awaiting some more Ronnie news. So we are working on 
matte nude liquid lipsticks. They will be coming up hopefully by the end of this year. We're also working on an eyeshadow palette, which will not launch until 2018, but it's going to be good. I did want to tell you guys that because I know you guys have been patiently awaiting new products and new colors, but just know that we're still a small brand and we're not going to be launching things every month. Every single product that Ronnie Cosmetics launches was fully tested by me and it went through some intense, critical, rigorous tests to make sure it was as perfect as possible. So because of that and because I am only one single person, I can't launch products every week or even every month, but just know that the products that I will be launching are going to be very, very high quality, very thought through. Everything from the packaging to the formula to absolutely everything was really, really well researched and I really did put my heart and soul into every single product. Like I said, the Spark Dazzling Lip Collection was my passion project and to finally see something that I have envisioned for years actually coming to life and knowing that you guys already love the lipsticks as much as you do and just anticipating your guys' love for the liquid lipsticks as well is just, it's the most rewarding feeling. So thank you guys so much from the very bottom of my heart for all of your support. I can't wait to hear what you guys think of the liquid lipsticks. And I think I've done enough rambling for today's video. So anyways, I will see you guys this Saturday, July 22nd at 10 a.m. on the Ronnie Cosmetics website for our liquid lipstick launch. And I will see you guys then. Thank you for your support and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.